Hi everybody, I'm Ethan Chen, a senior machine learning scientist at Alibaba Cloud. In this video, I'm going to give you a live demo of how to use machine learning platform of Alibaba Cloud. Let's first take a look at the Alibaba Cloud AI Services framework. Overall, it has three layers. The infrastructure layer, the machine learning platform layer, and application layer. In the infrastructure layer, it contains various services such as data storage, parallel computing, and algorithms. On top of that, we build machine learning platform, also known as Pi. It contains over 100 different algorithms and supports major deep learning frameworks such as TensorFlow, MXNet, Cafe, and Sectura. In the application layer, we build specialized solutions for applications in the domain like image, phase, speech and languages, translations, and chatbots. Let's take a closer look at Pi. Pi is a platform that harnesses the power of machine learning to discover patterns in business data to make business decisions, and more importantly, provides an all-in-one solution with low technical requirements and high performance. It is a user-friendly product that packages various end-to-end -end machine learning algorithms for business to quickly utilize their data to improve their business. Concretely, it is very easy to set up. It allows us to build machine learning experiments using simply drag and drop. It provides more than 100 different algorithms for regression, classification, clustering, text analysis, etc. Without further ado, let's dive directly into the live demo. Before we get started, the first thing we should do is to activate the corresponding service if you haven't done so. Simply type machine learning platform in the search bar. And click the corresponding website. Click the buy now button. And then select corresponding region. In our case, we'll use EU Central in Frankfurt. Note that we have already purchased this service here. So I will skip the rest of the steps. They're quite straightforward. After we have successfully purchased Pi service on Alibaba Cloud, we can go to the console. You can see that currently the project list is empty. Let's create one. Now remember that Pi is built on top of mass compute computing engine. So we need to create a mass compute project first. You can do so by clicking this button. You'll notice that there are two ways that you can pay mass compute. The first one is pay as you go, and the second one is by subscription. You should also enable the Pi service here, and currently pay as you go is the only supported way. Click next, and then fill in the project name. Once it's finished, you will see here that all the subscribed services. In this case, it's going to be Mass Compute and Pi service. Now we can go back to the Pi console and go into the project by clicking the button here. Once it's done, you will see that there are four available templates already there. Today, I'm going to show you a very simple classification example. The task is to predict whether a customer is going to pay back his or her credit card next month, namely the credit score prediction based on the credit card usage. It will take a while until it's finished. Now we have successfully created our experiment from the template. 
Let me show you the user interface of the workspace. It can be divided into three major areas, left, center, and right. On the left panel, you'll find hundreds of uh, different uh, useful tools and modules to help you do your data analysis. For example, the first one is the data input and output. It supports both Max Compute, OSS, and MySQL. What you can also find is uh, various pr data pre-processing tools, for example, sampling, normalization, etc. You can also find a lot of uh, interesting tools for the feature engineering, such as PCA. What you can also find is a lot of tools to do the statistical analysis, for example, computing the covariance, percentile, histogram, and so on. And probably the most exciting thing is that we got a huge selection of different machine learning algorithms, for example, binary classification, multi-class classification, etc. Um, you can simply drag and drop the uh, module into the main canvas, and uh, it will show you the input and output of this module. It's very simple to use. I'll leave it to you guys to explore. Okay, let's take a look at the middle part. You will notice that there's no single line of code, so it's all organized in this uh, intuitive diagram. You can drag and drop the position of each module. Of course, you can also perform zoom in, zoom out, fit canvas, etc. etc. Once you finish the entire workflow, you can then run the whole procedure using the um, run button on the top left corner. And uh, once you're happy with the results, you can deploy the model online. What is also interesting is the panel on the right. You might notice that when I click each individual module, you will see that uh, um, it will show you the properties or the information of uh, this module. In this case, it's going to be uh, the data reading part. And uh, if you see the table selection, you will notice that uh, uh, we specified one table here automatically because it is created and imported by the template. And you can directly check the color information here very easily. And uh, well, you can see a bunch of informations such as uh, the ID, sex, education, marriage, etc., etc. At the end of the day, what you're aiming for is to predict this field, payment next month, okay? Uh, well, what we want to find out is whether the customer is going to pay back the, uh, the bank uh, next month or so. So it's a binary classification problem. Um, it's a pretty good project to start with. All right, that's enough for the layout introduction. Let's directly jump into the details of how are we going to use Pi to solve this classification problem. Let's go step by step to check each component. The first one, as I mentioned earlier, is the data reading. It reads all the data samples stored in the bus compute table. The next step, as you might know, is to split the entire data set into training and test set. This is commonly done in machine learning. So we can do that by specifying the uh, ratios. Uh, by default, um, it's 80% to training set and 20% to test set. The next step we need to do is to perform the feature engineering. In this case, we're going to do the binning. So what essentially it does is that it will map the continuous values into a you know, set of bins um, that is you know, um, discrete values we can see um, what fields to apply the binning. Here, we'll leave out the ID and payment next month. What we can also do here is to perform some feature analysis, such as the population stability index analysis. Um, here, I'm gonna skip the explanation. You can look it up if you're interested. Finally, let's specify the training algorithms. You can do that by simply double-click this module, and uh, you will see that um, you got a bunch of uh, parameters to choose. 
The first one is the feature column to exclude. So the ones that you don't want to use. Here we simply want to use everything, every features. Then you can also specify the labor column, which is uh, payment next month. And you can specify our positive class to be one. You can specify the model to use. In this case, we'll use logistic regression. However, you also can choose a bunch of other uh, models to use um, on the left panel. Also got a bunch of other parameters here. However, we will leave them untouched. Uh, one thing to note is that if you're not so sure about a certain parameters, you can always click the question mark. Once the model is trained, we can use it as input for the prediction. So the prediction module has two inputs, one coming from the trained model, the other one coming from the test set. Finally, we can add a evaluation step on the test set. Once the whole workflow is set up, we can run the entire procedure by clicking this button. We can ignore this message for now. One thing to notice that um, you know when a certain step is uh, ran successfully, it will have a green check, and uh, for the steps that is currently running, you will have a spinning wheel. After waiting for a while, the entire procedure is now finished. Uh, we can then check the final as well as intermediate results for each step. One thing was also noticing is that uh, when you right-click a certain node, you can specify run from here, run to here, or simply run this node. This is a very handy feature and makes the debugging a lot easier. Let's take a look at the binning results first. You can do that easily by right-clicking, and then you can view the original input features. This is a very quick way to do the um, data exploration. You can view the binning results as well. And um, here you will see um, all the number of bins for each features. And uh, you can check out the details by right click the detail button. Over here it got very nice illustration of um, you know the age binning in this case. Without writing a single line of uh, code, you can plot nice charts like that automatically. And you can do the zoom in uh, and zoom out and etc. We can also do the same thing for the chain model by clicking the model report. Here you got various numbers for you to check out. We can also view the raw log output by clicking this button. Click this URL double click here detail in the terminated we'll find std out and std arrow you can see all the printouts and all the progress here notice here we got two workers Lastly, let's check out the evaluation report. We see a bunch of um, metrics here. Let's click the chart first. Our C curve, you see that our AUC value is uh, 0.78. You can easily change to other styles as well. For example, the precision recall curve. Here you get a bunch of uh, other metrics like F1 score. 
Notice here, we are only doing a demonstration, that's why the performance is relatively poor. What you can also do is to check out each individual prediction results. For example, in this case, the index number 1 is classified as uh, 0 because the score for class 0 is much higher. That's our first hands-on experience on the machine learning platform of Alibaba Cloud. One more thing, if you'd like to find out more, you can refer to our documentation center here. Simply type the topic that you want to learn. In this case, it's going to be machine learning platform. Here, it covers a bunch of different topics, such as uh, introduction, quick start, user guide, and best practices. Over here, it also contains the example that I showed in the video. To quickly recap, I showed you in this video how to create a Pi project, the layout of the workspace, how to create a workflow by simply drag and drop, how to choose the algorithms and change its parameters, and how to run and debug each step by simply checking the log. Finally, I showed you how to evaluate and visualize the results. Last but not least, I showed you how to check our documentation center to find out more. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave your comments below, share it with your friends, and send us feedbacks. See you next time.